I mean, in 2023, these companies have let us down when it comes to safety, my friends. Carjacking after carjacking after carjacking. You know, sometimes it's people off the street, but most of the times it's riders that have access to the platform or are third parties. And the company hasn't introduced any real ideas. They haven't even follow up on their real idea and their photographs, right? They're too afraid to lose those thugs as customers. So, you know, in 2024, um, I, I can tell you what, we are pushing back big time. Um, let's watch the video first. From the Little Rock Police Headquarters tonight in Tylisa, a scary encounter for this driver who was just doing his job. What exactly happened? Well, Laura, that driver tells me that it was a very scary encounter. He was not sure if he was going to make it out alive or not, but he did say that he did make it out alive and he did make it out uninjured also. Now he wants to warn other drivers in the area to make sure it does not happen to them, but he also wants justice to be served. Ronan Igwe says he's been a Lyft driver for three months, but on Friday, he had a scary experience. I thought I was, I thought I was going to be shot. Ronan says around 12 a.m., he pulled up to a house on Southwest Street in Little Rock to pick up a rider. He's like, put it on. So he came up to me. I unlocked the car, and then he made his way in. And I think I remember asking him, is this your name? He said, yes. However, once he started to drive off, Ronan says the unthinkable happened. As I told that's a gun pointing right at me. It was like, it was, get, get out of here. It was like someone, it was just like about to shoot at me. Woman says he jumped out the car and the person drove off. The Little Rock Police Department says after officers got to the scene, they later found the car not too far away from where it was stolen, stuck in the mud. Officers say the suspect had already left. <laughs> I'm actually praying that the police uh, should find all the answers. As police are investigating, Ronan says he plans to return to being a driver, but will only drive during the daytime and take extra safety steps, urging other drivers to do so as well. So you have to be cautious before you unlock the car to let people in. And Ronan also says that, again, he was uninjured. He is happy to be alive. Now, so far, police have not put out any information about the suspects. However, they did ask that if anybody has any information, you are urged to contact that number on your screen. Also contact that number if you see something suspicious. So there's the number, 501-371-4660. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has happened um, numerous times in Chicago last month, riders taking advantage of the platform, companies fast asleep, Daryl Koshishawi fast asleep, David Risha fast asleep. And we're going to remind them on Valentine's Day, right? Um, you guys can make your own flyers. You can request flyers from us. Uh, this is going to be the worldwide Uber and Lyft drivers protest. Um, here it is right here. Poor safety, low pay, stolen tips, wrongful deactivations, the Spanish version. And happy Valentine's Day, Dara and uh, uh, David Risha. We're going to show you a lot of love. I'm going to tell you that in form of switching the apps off because you are certainly disastrous at keeping your driver safe. You have databases of thugs, criminals, pedophiles that you can access. You can block them. You can bring in real photos, real IDs. You can introduce uh, far stricter uh, procedures when onboarding, um, but you don't seem to care. You've said it multiple times, both of you, multiple times, that we can expect this, this, and this. I've seen nothing. What I have seen is uh, shootings, carjackings, I mean, Chicago was rampant. Pe people don't want to get in the car. They're too afraid, right? They're too afraid because you guys are failing drivers and not doing anything about it. And investors, seriously, tell me you don't have, you can't exert or exercise some pressure on these fools, on these incompetent idiots here and, and, and spend some money on safety. I mean, are you okay with it? 
with all the blood on your hands. Are you okay with it? These daily occurrences in the news, not one time. No, it's multiple times a day, right? Gun pointed at me, knife, car got stolen, stuck in the mud. A lot of these fools don't even know how to drive. They just want to steal a few things that they can turn into money and they're gone. And they don't, they don't care about lives. I'll kill you in the process, right? So he did the right thing. He got out. I like his idea. He said, you know, what? just crack the window open lightly, have all your doors locked and ask the questions. What's your name? You know, verify the person. If this is some third party asshole or idiot or thug using someone, you know, you keep the windows, keep the windows just slightly open. You can ask the question through there. Sorry, show me your ID, please. Um, so this name doesn't match uh, the records here, right? You want you want the real uh, the real person who has um, the account. Sadly, these third party individuals are using mothers or brothers or uncles' accounts, and like you said, try and keep them on the outside. Keep all the doors locked, windows slightly open. Hey, show me your ID, show me, and then you can get in my car. This is our car, right? These people need to remember this is our car. We want to be kept safe in our offices. If you cannot offer us our safety, if you cannot keep us safe and offer that safety, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, start your own LLC, get your commercial insurance, get your car registered commercially and start your own business, right? Check out the link below. I show you how to become a private driver. When you have private clients, you do not have the stress, but you're getting quality referrals. You are getting well-paying customers you're not getting thugs right so just you know something to think about in 2024 and again february the 14th valentine's day we are going to show these two fools a lot of love take care my friends please be safe out there on new year's eve a lot of people are going to be drinking a lot of crazy erratic driving take care of yourselves doors locked windows locked ask the important questions Third party people that cannot identify themselves that look, look suspect, drive off, leave them behind. God bless you all. Thank you. Happy 2024.